Hey everybody, I'm Serena Zeppelin and welcome to my channel where I will show you how to manage land in Second Life. Today I will teach you the basic settings you need to know immediately after purchasing your land. So first you need to bring up the About Land menu. Uh, you can go to the top of your screen where you see the land name. Click there. That will bring up the About Land menu. Next you want to click the Options tab and here you will see all of your choices between everyone and setting it to group. Just keep in mind that everyone really does mean everyone, uh, therefore everyone is free to edit your terrain, fly, build, res objects, and run scripts. Edit terrain. Do not leave this checked to everyone. Always have it off. If you need to check it to let a friend edit your terrain, make sure that you shut this back off as soon as your friend is done helping you out. Otherwise, you leave yourself open to uh, terrible accidents and griefing on your land. Fly. I leave this check to everyone. I don't care if people fly over my land. Um, I can't imagine you would have a problem with that either. But if you do, you can uncheck it so that no one can fly over your land. The build option. Uh, this you should leave checked to group, otherwise everyone can build on your land. Object entry. You want this only set to group, otherwise everyone can res objects on your land. Running scripts. Um, a lot of people uncheck this because they think that's going to stop griefing. It will. However, it can also stop your doors from working and other scripted items that you have on your land from working. Um, if you should run into a griefing situation where someone is using a scripted object to grief you, you can just bring up your About Land menu and uncheck that and leave it to group. Otherwise, I would just leave it checked, and I do. Safe and no pushing. As the region owner, I already have the region set for safe to always be checked and no pushing to always be checked. If you rent land from me, you don't have an option of unchecking these. Uh, safe means other avatars cannot cause you damage with weapons and kill your avatar, which believe it or not, you, you can be killed in second life. Uh, and uh, no pushing means other avatars cannot um, push you with their avatar. It's something I used to like to do <laughs> when, when I would get angry. We won't discuss that right now, though. So show place in the search. You can check this if you want your land to sh publicly show in search uh, because you are probably going to have a house on your land. You don't want this or strangers will be able to find your house and come there. Moderate content. So if you are going to have PG or R rated content on your land, uh, you might want to check this uh, to give uh, the younger group in Second Life or those who only want G rated content uh, the option of not coming to your land. Avatars on other parcels can see and chat with avatars on this parcel. So as long as you leave this checked, someone outside the boundary lines of your land can see you on your land and they can chat with you while they're on the region. If you uncheck this, avatars outside the boundaries of your land can click on you and find your location, but they will not be able to see you. So if you're sitting on a chair in your home and I double click your name to zoom in on you, uh, I will be able to see the chair. I will not be able to see you. Uh, avatars tend to um, do some adult things while they're together. They don't want other people seeing them, so they will uncheck this so no one can see them on their land. That's optional. It's up to you. I leave mine checked. I really couldn't care less if anyone sees me. 
Now, landing point. Um, if you have a special spot on your land that you would like other people visiting to visit that specific spot or to land right there. Um, so look at where my little avatar is standing. Go stand where you want that point to be. Click set. It will set the coordinates. If you want new coordinates, you can clear that. Go stand somewhere else on your land and set that as the landing point. Now, teleport routing. If you set your land to landing point only, anyone trying to come to your land will only go where you would set that point. If you put anywhere, uh, your friends coming to visit can land anywhere on your land. If you block people from teleporting to your land, they won't be able to visit you. So keep that in mind. Now, snapshot. You see this question mark? You can click there. It will bring up your inventory. You can put a custom photo or a logo in that spot. Let's see, I'll choose something nice. There we go. And then when you save your land in pics, uh, it will save it with the picture of the land. Okay, so this concludes the tour of the uh, Options tab in the About Land menu. To learn more, please view my other tutorials for the remaining tabs in About Land. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this tutorial helpful and hit the subscribe button to be notified of new tutorial videos. Thanks for viewing. Have a fulfilling second life.